My name is Matthias Wilke, Product Manager at Makino, and I would like to give you a short introduction into our new uh, HyperEye control, which we showed firstly on the EMO 2013 in uh, Hanover. Um, this new control is designed just for uh, operators who are not so skilled and have to learn EDM, because more and more EDM is coming into, into the world of production, and operators who know about milling machines have to operate EDM machines as well. So the, the background idea was to make a control which is easy to learn, easy to operate. But we start a little bit earlier. We started the preparation, so you need to be sure that all your consumables are there, are available and uh, not used up. Even here you get some information about which kind of nozzles you have to use and so on. We switch over to program. Here on this page you see the program which is just loaded in the graphics screen. So that is a preparation which can be done during the machine is running. Simultaneously we can load a new program. This new program um, uh, we load directly inside by choosing a program from a list inside the machine or which we can transfer from an external device to the machine. This can be a USB, this can be directly from the server. I give you an example. So it opens up a new screen where everything is described in, in 3D and operators just have to fulfill these, uh, these uh, options and then, and then the machine uh, knows where the workpiece is. In the next step, we are going to the run page and here we have the actual program which is executed. Very often small details inside, inside these uh, systems where operators like to know is it the right program or where is my wire at the moment. So we have this pinch function inside so that we can zoom in in details or we can rotate a 3D workpiece just to be sure that the, that the workpiece is, is rightly executed during the machining. On the maintenance screen, you have, you have all these uh, points which you need to check in the daily, weekly or monthly maintenance. And uh, you just have to check them, then the check day appears and the next check day is already shown on the screen and you get a mark when you have to recheck again. Uh, if you're unsure how to do the maintenance, there is a context sensitive menu. So all these small eyes here are related to our manual. So just by clicking on that, on that information, you get the manual directly on the screen and you're able to uh, get the information how to do the maintenance. That's very good for operators who don't want every time to go to the shelf and take out the maintenance books and to read, search the pages. So this is context sensitive directly. The operator gets the information which is needed at that moment.